In this unit circle survival guide, we'll find the exact value of the tangent of 420 degrees using the SARC method. So here's our template. SARC is just an acronym so that we make sure we complete all our steps, uh, keep all our information organized. Um, so a quick breakdown, S stands for sketch the angle, so we'll sketch the terminal side. A helps us remember to think ASTC, or all students take classes, and this helps us know which trig functions are positive in each quadrant and thus if our answer should be positive or negative. The R is for reference triangles, so we'll find the reference angle and then the special right triangle and coordinates that go with it. And the C is for calculating the trig ratio. So we're going to do that for the tangent of 420 degrees. Okay, first we want to sketch the angle and notice we have a positive angle, so we're rotating counterclockwise. And also notice that 420 is more than one rotation. That's 360 degrees. And so it's going to help us to find a coterminal angle. And to do that, simply subtract 360 from 420. So we find that 60 degrees is going to be a coterminal angle to 420. And what that means is they have the same terminal side and you just rotate differently to get there. You do one more counterclockwise rotation for a 420 degree angle. But all we really care about is the placement of that terminal side. So of course, working counterclockwise, here would be zero, here's 90. So 60 falls right about here in the first quadrant. And now we can move to step two where we think ASTC, and that helps us know which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. So they're all positive in quadrant one, lub and angle in quadrant one, sine and cosecant are positive in two, tangent and cotangent in three, and cosine and secant in four. All right, so back to quadrant one, that's where we are. All our trig functions here will be positive. Um, so we won't have to worry about any negative signs. Make a note, our final answer will be positive. All right, so now we can move on to step three and work with our reference angle and our special right triangle and coordinates. So our reference angle is pretty easy to find here. It's just going to be the amount of rotation from the terminal side to the x-axis. And since we found that coterminal angle of 60 degrees, we can pretty easily see that's also going to be the value for our reference angle. So that means we want to be working with our 60-30 special right triangle. That's the one with the shorter horizontal leg and the longer vertical leg. And from our background knowledge of these special right triangles, we know the coordinates that go with this must be 1 half squared of 3 over 2. And now that we know these coordinates, we can calculate. So we know that the tangent of an angle on the unit circle is just going to be y divided by x. Okay, so we take our y coordinate, square root of three over two, and if we're dividing by x, we're dividing by one half, and that means we wanna just multiply by the reciprocal. So write that as two over one. We see we can cross cancel those twos, they have a common factor of two, and thus reduce to ones. And we know that our value is square root of three. We remember from step two that it's positive. And so we know that the tangent of 420 degrees must be the square root of three. And that's really all there is to it. So that's how to find the tangent of 420 degrees um, with the SARC method. Uh, check out the links in the video description if you wanna see more worked out examples of exact values. Um, and I'll also post a link to a playlist there that will have help with all the individual skills um, and some other basic unit circle skills that may be helpful as well. Thanks so much for watching.